TV, I'm Colin. And I'm Nick. Well, the holidays are upon us. The high school had a Thanksgiving Day food drive. Let's see how it went. Holidays are big this time of year. Let's take a look at some of the traditions that are popular. I'm here with uh, Sonny Segudo. Sonny, uh, what is one Christmas tradition you have? Um, opening gifts in the morning. So it's like everybody else. So I don't have it. <laughs> I'm here with Jack. What is one Christmas tradition you have? Um, every morning I uh, bring Dre downstairs and we open all presents and we drink eggnog. I'm here with Mr. Sharabat. What is one tradition you do for the holidays? I avoid any kind of tradition because I truly feel that traditions are ridiculous and you should make your own traditions and not do everything because the rest of society is doing it. Thank you very much. Wow, Nick, those are some great traditions. Well, along with this time of year, we should be having more students coming into college now. Here's Adam with two more students committed to colleges. From CMT, we're talking to Aaron Cunningham. Tell me, what college you committed to? Fredonia State University. Okay. What are you studying? Elementary education, and then I'm going to minor in business. Cool! <laughs> okay, what, what sport are you doing? I'm going to be playing softball. Thank you for your time. Hi, this is Adam Speed to Jordan Titus. So tell me, what school are you committed to? Uh, West Virginia. What are you going to be studying? Sports management. What sport are you playing? Wrestling. Thank you for your time, and good luck. Good luck to Aaron and Jordan with their college commitments. For those still trying to decide whether they want to play sports in college, Here's Sydney with an update on how to help with the recruitment process. Hey guys, it's Sydney. I'm sure many of you guys are looking into playing sports after high school. This app here is called Field Level and it can help a lot with the recruiting process. On the home page is just a bunch of points and tips on what you can do. On the target page, you can choose your top colleges that you want to go to and even try and contact them. You can search for any college that you would like to go to on the island or in any state that you would like. You can even get recommended colleges for you once you finish your college setup. You can also reach out to colleges and get messages once you connect your phone number and email. You can also upgrade to Field Level Premium, which helps you reach out more and get in contact with even better and more colleges. As you can see, you can set up your profile to where there's videos, ways to contact you, and even what positions, your height, your school, your name, your phone numbers, your address, and even your coaches. You can also add your academic achievements, your grades, and any rewards that you've been given in the past few years. Here you can choose what colleges you want, you can specify the size, the division, and even the schools that you would prefer to play at. Have a good day. I hope this helped. I bet that app will help a lot of student athletes get noticed now that the pandemic has stopped a lot of leagues. Good. I wonder what people would do when the pandemic is finally over. Let's take a look at what others would do. So, Lucas, what do you plan to do after quarantine's over? Uh, I would probably be playing um, school sports and I'll hang out with my friends more. That sounds great. So, Mr. Tosby, what do you plan to do after the quarantine's over? 
I would like to go to a couple ball games because I feel like I missed a lot of that. That sounds great. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, that's great. I bet there will be a lot of happy people. Speaking of happy times and the holidays, let's see who can finish these lyrics of these fun holiday songs. Hi, my name is Olivia, and we're playing Finish the Lyrics. Ready? I don't even know the song. I can't finish the lyrics. How do you know that? Hi, my name's Cindy, and we're doing Finish the Lyric Christmas Edition. Santa, tell me if you're really there. Don't make me fall in love again. <laughs> But the very next day, <laughs> you gave it away. <laughs> but the very next day, you gave it away. <laughs> Ouch on good old Santa Claus. <laughs> From the bottom of my heart. Okay, now for real, is that really yes. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. <laughs> Wow, those are some great singing voices. Speaking of great voices, we have a new teacher in the consumer science department. Hi, I'm Olivia and I'm interviewing Ms. Volger in the family and consumer science department. Hi! So what classes are you teaching this year? Right now I'm teaching two high school classes. One is called Tourism and Hospitality. The other class is Food and Culture. And then I teach five sections of sixth grade family and consumer sciences. Did you have a job before coming to Santa Merchant? Yes, I did. I was a stay-at-home mom for quite some time, about seven years. And then when my son got old enough, uh, I decided to go back into the workforce and I became a teacher's aide. Once I was doing that, I realized that I really was ready to get back in the classroom and that I could, you know, take that on. So I went ahead and applied for this job. Um, when I was a stay-at-home mom, I was doing freelance, like graphic design work and things like that because I actually am a certified art teacher, this is my second certification. So I was trying to say, stay into the field uh, a little bit so that I could get a job teaching art, but here I am instead teaching family and consumer sciences. What do you enjoy doing outside of the school? Outside of school, I love to spend time with my family. I love going to the beach. I love to travel. One of my favorite places to travel is Walt Disney World, uh, usually before COVID. We would go to Disney World probably twice, sometimes three times a year. Um, we really love it. Um, although I do like Disneyland better. Um, I know that a lot of people have a problem with that, but I do think that it's the OG. It's really an amazing place. So if you haven't been to Disneyland, you should go. Um, other than that, I love art. I love to cook, things like that. Can you tell us about some fun projects you do in this class? Sure. Um, well, with my sixth graders, right now we're in our design unit. So we're doing an interior design um, activity right now. They're drawing a floor plan. They're making a lookbook. We're going to get into fashion design. I'm going to show them how to draw a croquis. We're going to do some fashion design itself. We're going to talk about merchandising. Then we're going to get into sewing. They're going to design their own plush monster. And so that together, we're going to make bookmarks. We're going to hand sew uh, masks. So fun things like that. Um, previous to that, we were working on units about themselves, self-esteem, so we were doing a lot of art, a lot of journaling, things like that. So we've got a lot of fun projects in the pipeline. Even though because of COVID we can't cook in the room, we're definitely going to do some fun stuff. Now is there anything we don't know about consumer science that we should? I think a lot of people think that family and consumer sciences is just like home ec, that it's just cooking and that's it. Um, that is a large component. We do a lot of cooking, nutrition, kitchen safety, 
Um, but we also talk about ourselves, we talk about our development, human development, we do a unit on babysitting, which is great, especially for sixth graders, because it's usually the first job that they'll ever have. So I give them some tips and tricks on how to do that safely, um, first aid, things like that. We talk about our bodies, the changes that are going on as you enter adolescence. That's really fun to kind of make them feel uncomfortable for a moment. And then they're like, wait, we like this stuff because it's about us. And I'm like, yeah, let's talk about it. So we kind of talk about things like that. We do a lot of things about family, about the different kinds of families. We talk about diversity, bullying, um, all kinds of things. So I think like, yes, we do do units on how to do laundry and how to cook and clean and things like that. But we also do a lot of other units that are really helpful to make these young people into really great citizens. So it's a really important life skills type of class, um, budgeting, saving money, things like that. Well, that does it for another episode of CMTV. Be sure to follow us on our YouTube channel and our Instagram. I'm Colin. And I'm Nick. Stay safe, people.